I mean, we focus very much on uh, unlocking human promise wherever work happens, and we partner with uh, leading organizations globally around the world and um, support them in their ambitions to, uh, to grow and to evolve their business uh, to win. And uh, India is interesting for lots of various reasons, but uh, one is obviously the growth perspective. Uh, of the workplaces in India um, within the next 15 years, if I remember correctly, so maybe you need to check the numbers before you <laughs> quote me, but I think India is adding over 200 million people to its workforce. Um, so there's an immense growing uh, middle class in the country. There's a lot of development happening. I mean, you can see that in the beautiful building that we're actually in. Uh, it's happening. In Gurgaon, we see that happening in Mumbai, and Bangalore, and Hyderabad, and I'm sure in many cities that yeah. I don't know, like Chennai, Chandigarh, or, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of growth happening. There are a lot of companies that in the past perhaps came to India for labor arbitrage reasons. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of BPO yeah. business in India still. A lot of that is moving also recently to the Philippines. And more and more companies realize that the workforce that they build over time in India is very skilled, it's very well educated, um, and they're evolving their business from a BPO focus more and more into a KPO um, environment, really knowledge processing wor work, uh, world, and um, starting to innovate. Some Indian companies are entering global markets. Yes. Many global companies are entering more and more the Indian market. I mean, the whole political changes about FDI and so on and forth uh, that have happened over the last years and especially now uh, the last couple of months will enable more and more international companies to do business in, in, uh, in India. So there is a, there's a local growth at home, um, there is a local marketplace that is growing and therefore there are more and more also foreign companies kind of like looking seriously at India to address that market and so there's a lot of um, there's a need to support those companies when it comes to their workplace and um, how they're going to remain competitive, how they become more competitive, and especially how they engage their workforce. We, Steekers, recently we conducted the first really global quantitative uh, engagement study together with uh, Ipsos, and that led to a really large report about the different engagement levels and work cultures around the world. And if you look at India, then the surprising thing is that India is, or maybe not so much surprising for you, but we were kind of like surprised by it. Maybe that speaks somewhat to, um, you know, to how people think and feel about different parts of the world that they don't know so much about yet. But um, India has the highest engagement rate of all countries that we surveyed uh, in the world. And that is a, a very pleasant surprise. I mean, on the one hand, the, the results might be a little bit skewed because um, the, more than 50% of the respondents in India were managerial level. Mm -hmm. And as a manager, you have a lot more opportunities to decide how you work, right, and how you, how you plan your day. Whereas like, as, a, as a regular employee, you're actually more told how to do things. So it's maybe not as extreme that, um, that India is that far um, ahead or that different from other countries, but it is a country with a very highly engaged workforce. And we want to help our customers to really unlock that potential that they already have in their, um, in their workforces today and turn their um, BPO, KPO kind of business into more uh, value creation and innovation.